Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here with me today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm going to bring you a wig review of a short style by Raquel Welch. This is Sparkle in the color Glazed Auburn. The code for that is R. 3329S Plus. I am losing my mind over this color. Oh my goodness, this is such a pretty color. And actually, I'm really loving this short style. It is not the typical style that I would choose, but ever since I threw it on my head, I'm kind of in love. If you wanna know more about this style, if you wanna know about this color, we'll look at it inside and outside, then stick around. Sparkle is a regular synthetic wig by Raquel Welch. It has a basic cap and an unbelievable price point for the quality. Now, if you can get yourself a coupon code, you can save money on the already really good price point. This wig is going to be a workhorse and it's going to last super, super long. I do have a coupon code for name brand wigs that is uh, an online retailer that I personally really like. So if you are looking at this and thinking this could be a piece that you'd like, I'll put a link in the description. You can go check it out and use my coupon code to save some money. It's so cute. Let's look at this style from all sides. Now this piece does have a short nape at one and a half inches. If you've watched my videos in the past, you know whenever I do a short wig, I talk about that nape. It's really important that you know your hairline when it comes to short napes because it might show. Two inches or less is where I think it's important to know your hairline. A one and a half inch nape, if I don't shave my hair right at the nape, will, my hair will show. I do buzz my hair and I shave it real close to the scalp right here where it typically shows. So please be aware of that with the short napes like this, that you could have bio hair issues. Now, if your bio hair blends with the color you chose, it's not going to be a problem. It'll just look really natural. But if it doesn't, you're gonna wanna know about that. Now, this piece has these face these kind of side longer pieces that are really cute. I am finding that this side right here doesn't really want to lay quite right. I think if I just keep working on it, that will fix. When something like that happens, it could be a, a product of a little bit of cold setting or cold crimping that can happen when it's placed in a box, maybe not as carefully as it should have been. And when it goes through temperature changes from the warehouse to a truck to maybe your house, it can sometimes get a little bit of funny kinks. On a heat friendly synthetic that's really easy to take care of with a hot comb or a hot airbrush, on a wig like this that is not heat friendly, I would just take, put this head wig on a wig head, a mannequin head, and I would take a brush or a comb and some steam, just a, any cheap clothing steamer will work, and I would just encourage it to settle down. You can use a pl all plastic hot airbrush. The all plastic ones don't get very hot. You could try that. But I think just putting a little water or just the heat of your hands, it wasn't too bad, will probably help it. But if you notice every now and then it's sticking out funny, that's what I think happened to it. And it's a really, really easy fix. If you don't like these, you can either trim them off. I actually have a video where I show you how to cut bangs and I show you how to cut face framing layers with a thinning, a thinning razor. That tool would be perfect for trimming this and it would be foolproof. You're not going to over trim or cut a blunt line with something like that. So keep in mind when you get a wig that's not perfect for you, there are lots of things you can do to help make it work. I have tons of videos where I show you how to do things like pluck a hairline, pluck a part line, add a root to a synthetic wig with a marker, lots of things. So don't ever think that these wigs have to be 100% perfect out of the box or that they are not going to work for you. That really isn't the case. If you don't want to take any kind of permanent, uh, make a permanent change to it, you can just tuck these right behind your ear and look at that. Look how cute that is, you guys. I'm loving this wig. I just think it's darling. Now, it does have some permatees all on the top of the cap here. I can feel permatees back here and I can feel it up here. I have had 
basic cap wigs with way more permatease than this piece has. It doesn't have a ton, but it does have some, and it gives it just a little bit of volume, but it's not excessive at all. I really have had wigs with lots more permatease than this one has. What I really like about this piece is you really can't see the permatease. Sometimes on a basic cap wig, you run the risk of being able to see the, 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 the wiry, nesty, crimpy fibers. That's what the permatease is. And sometimes you can see it wherever you were to uh, put your part. You really can't on this piece. And I've actually seen a few other sparkles and none of them really showed that permatease. So I think they did a really fantastic job with this one. Now they do, this does have like a full fringe and a full bang going on. I'm really surprised that the bang isn't giving me more problems. I usually have issues with bangs on wigs being too long, which is why I learned how to cut them with a thinning razor and it's super easy, but this one is actually staying out of my eyes pretty well for the most part. And if I just kind of do this a little bit, it really just sweeps well. But if you find that you need to trim up those bangs, I'll put a video in the description so that you can go watch it. It's super easy, nobody has to have skill to be able to cut bangs in one of these synthetic wigs. So I have a video to help you. Let's take a look inside this cap. If you're not familiar with uh, synthetic wigs or what a basic cap is, sometimes they're also called machine made caps. That's what this is. There's no lace front, there's no monofilament, no natural scalp looking parts on here at all. You've got soft material up here. It's all open wefted. There's even a little bit of open wefting here which helps to keep the airflow going. You've got a lot of hair sewn in on these ear tabs which gives you all that beautiful coverage on the sides. We have an open extended nape again for that airflow and we've got velcro adjusters so that you can loosen it or tighten it depending on your head size really nice cap super lightweight i think the weight was like 2.3 ounces or something really really light this wig is a total shake and go could not be easier throw it on finger style it you know do whatever you want with these sides i would tuck them that's my personal preference fluff it up and you're good to go. But let's just say you don't know if you're gonna like a short wig. When I first started wearing wigs, I was super excited to be able to change up my style. Once I got through the few months of constant crying, cause it was hard, it really is hard in the beginning for a lot of people. I thought, I'm just gonna have fun with this. And I started buying short wigs. In the beginning, I could not wear short wigs. I didn't have short hair to begin with, and I just couldn't see myself in short wigs. I was very uncomfortable with them. At the time, I didn't know that you could style your wigs. I didn't know you could put accessories in your wigs. Now that I know, I don't know why I didn't ever think of that, but I think if you're in that position, I want you to know you can style your wigs. You can use accessories on your wigs. One of the, my favorite things to do with short wigs is to wear headbands with them. I absolutely love, love wearing headbands with a short wig. I think it, it changes up the look and it makes it more accessible to those of us who are struggling in the beginning to, to see ourselves in styles different than we're used to. It doesn't have to be a headband like this. It can be, I mean, they sell these kind of headbands on Amazon. I'll link my Amazon store in the description because I have tons of these bookmarked in there because I've purchased tons of them. But they're like, they're rigid, but they look like a bandana, but they have some that have pearls on them. They have beautiful, beautiful headbands like this and they could not be easier to wear with a um, short wig. But let me grab something here to give you guys another example. Let's say you don't really like those kind of headbands. I have been known to wear these kind of headbands too, these kind of cloth headbands. And really easy to do with a short wig as well. You just kind of get it up in there and you just arrange it. I want to pull that back up. However, I mean, it's really simple. And then you kind of pull a little bit of the hair down below it in the back so that you can't see the bottom of the cap. How easy is that? I mean, seriously, I might just keep this on for the rest of the day. I think this is so cute and it's very cool. So if you struggle with being hot with wigs, there's really no way around a little bit of being hot if you run hot because you're, you're putting something on your head. But some things that you can do to mitigate that are to either get short wigs or to wear longer wigs in updos of some sort, claw clips, ponytails. The more you can get the hair off of this part of your body, the more that it really will help. And for some reason, when I'm hot, I find putting a headband on somehow helps that. I don't know why because I'm adding another layer, but it does. And I don't know if it's just because of how 
I, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate. It just works for me. So just a tip that you might consider if you are struggling with being hot with wigs. Okay, let's talk about color. Because I told you in the beginning, I'm losing it over this color. Oh my gosh, I've never seen it before and it's so beautiful. So the name is Glazed Auburn. It's R3329S+. In Raquel Welch, S plus means it's well the s is it's rooted so this is like a rooted auburn and it's a rich dark reddish brown with pale peach highlights it's like the coolest color ever so cool it's very coppery I consider this a, a rust. It's like a, a multi-tonal rust color. That's what I'm I'm calling it. And actually, you know, I, I'm wrong. It's not rooted. S plus just means it's like a. Oh gosh, I should have looked it up. It's it's like it's a it's a coloring technique that gives it this just dynamic color. I'll write it down in the description. I'm not going to pause this video. Go look it up. I'll put it in the description. You can go look it up. But it's so beautiful and it's very all these darker colors down here. It's just multi-tonal. If you love reds, you love copper, this. The peach, I think, just gives it that kind of glow. Not shiny synthetic glow, just a fun color. So hard to describe, but rusty, coppery, very much. Okay, everybody, let's get outside. And, and what I love is, look at all the different tones. We've got some darker brown. Look at that, darker brown, some dark red, almost a burgundy back there. Gosh, it's just amazing. Let's get outside so that we can see this color outside. Oh, and I will also tell you guys, if you wear short wigs, cut the tags off of them. You run the risk, if, if it sits funny, of if the hair moves funny or the tag pokes through the wefts, of being able to see that tag, especially on a darker color. So just a tip to remember, cut those tags off once you know that you want to keep that piece. You can throw them in a Ziploc bag to keep it with the wig if you think you might ever sell the piece, but definitely get those tags off of them so you don't run the risk of them poking out at some point. You just don't want that. All right, everybody, let's get outside so we can see this color outside. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. All right, let's look at this color outside. Oops, I just got poked in the eye. I'll step into the sun in a moment, but let's look at it in the shade first. What do you guys think of this color? I would love to hear your thoughts. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, I just begged the question, didn't I? <laughs> if you don't think it's beautiful, that's fine. We're all different, but I'm just really smitten with it. Okay, let's see what the sun does to it. Wow, look at it pop. Bright sun. Now, all of that dynamic uh, tonality, all the different tones, really aren't up here, it's just at the nape. I don't know if I can get the nape in here. And I think that's really natural. If you had your hair colored like this, you know, typically the sideburns, the nape, all of that is where you'd see some of the differences. So beautiful. One more up close. Should I get back in the shade just for a moment? See if I can walk backwards without tripping myself. All right. Okay, I hope that helped.